You'll never understand. <laughs> Dumbass. Hello, welcome back. So, we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go have a look in the elevator. Um, we've got some pretty badass weapon selected but I'm okay with that because we've obviously saved a lot of ammo and we deserve to uh, spend a little I guess so we're gonna go ahead for the elevator again with the pesky door silences okay so up this way and here we are yes let's press the switch Thank you for telling us that. So, um... Still unsure of what we're going to do about Chris. But at least we're making progress. Okay, did we go to a new area? Okay, at least it's not like an, an elevator to a floor that we've already been on. <laughs> uh, is this red? This is red. What are we going to do? Try to make it green, but I can't. Is this? Okay. Cool. Uh, bullets for shotguns. Maybe we should have shotguns. But we've got revolver, so screw it. That is a fancy door. I think doors like that in my Wesker! <laughs> Barry's a disappointment. I was a laboratory it's too bad all along. He wasn't much of a poker player. You were behind all of this. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. So having stars nosing about is an inconvenience. <laughs> You're just like all the other things. A slave of Umbrella. <laughs> Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. That will be the end of my connection with Umbrella. What? What are you planning? I want to show you something. He's got his macro set up. Press a button and a whole bunch of shit happens, I'm sure. This is the tyrant. This isn't the same as Nemesis though, right? This is a different one. I'm pretty sure it's not Nemesis. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. You couldn't have been experimenting on people. Oh. It's beautiful. For the sake of this thing? You'll never understand. <laughs> Dumbass. That's freaking hilarious to me, I don't know why. I'll deal with you, freak. Okay, I just have to pause for one second to mention that all of that happened because he pressed a button. Like, imagine if, I don't know, you spill a bit of coffee on it and you're trying to wipe off your keys or something, you just unlock the tyrant, whatever. You'd imagine that there was probably, there should have been probably a couple of safety measures in place, but that's fine. Okay, uh, so what have we got? We've got a room. Is it like a full loop? No, okay, so we probably just wasted a bunch of ground. We're gonna try to get past him. And we are gonna blow his balls off with the magnum. Did 
Do I have to shoot him specifically in the heart? That didn't work. Okay. GG. All of... <laughs> all of Wesker's work in his whole life and the whole reason that any of this is happening. We just took it out in a couple of seconds. Um, we are on caution, but we have some herbs, so... Well, we still got plenty of magnum shells left, so... Or magnum bullets, rather. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wonder how much research and time and effort went into that. They've been working on it since 1998, and I know that's when the original game came out, but you can imagine now that it's 2021, they're working on it for, what, 23 years? And I'm just like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> All of that time and energy and money. Okay. What a pathetic way to die, it says. Observation notes. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. I lost track of all of these viruses, honestly. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, of course, frickin' France, was administered to the, sim to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me. Now. <laughs> the prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate mm -hmm. way to describe it. I'm not sure. The observation gave me more insight in my research. The... Well, through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpassed the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin Oh, William. I, f I kind of forget who that is, too. I suck with names, and there are so many names in this game. Uh, it says that there's still something in this room. <laughs> I love that. What a pathetic way to die. Uh... I guess I will quickly fast forward and try to find whatever the hell's in this room. Well, we found another key. I thought that we'd like unlocked basically everything. Ugh, the door is electronically locked. Okay. Can we we can't use the key, can we? Key? No. Okay, cool. So... i got to press something. There's a computer around here. I'd imagine that lets us get out. Nope. What's this? What, are, what, what is any of this? Okay. Figured it out. What a bunch of nonsense. Come to speak of it. Now that we've got the grenade launcher, maybe we can just like exit the front door the way we came. <laughs> Like, okay, in the beginning, we didn't have anything. So fair enough, you don't want to fight those zombie dogs at the front door. But now we've got a freaking grenade launcher. 
I don't know, man. I think that we could probably handle it. That and they're specially trained police officers, so. I don't understand. Was that all that was in the lift? Can I, like, choose the direction it goes in? If not, I'll fast forward to save you the grief of having to watch it again. The only door I can think of is Chris's cell door. Um. There, there is that. Down some stairs. Down, down a ladder. Or is it up the ladder? Hmm. Well, we might as well go check out Chris's cell first. Well, I mean, but that would that wouldn't be called a lab key, though, would it? Oh God, damn it! Hate these bloody things. Fine. You know what? Let's uh We're here. We're just gonna go check the door on up here. So Yeah. So I'm just going to I can't think of anything to say. I'm going to fast forward to this. <laughs> okay, cool. So the key worked here. Let's go. Alright. Shotgun ammo. They really want to give us shotgun shells, don't they? First aid kits. What, can we double them up? No. I should have used Barry's revolver down there because now I'm still carrying two revolvers around. When clearly, I sh it it seems that they want me to use a shotgun. Uh. So. <laughs> It's always so freaking confusing. Okay. Did I just end up... Yeah, okay. Go around here. Go around here. There should be a ladder. There we go. Um... Alright, I'm just gonna quickly dump my crap and then go back. Uh, so, obviously, I'm pretty happy with, um... Pretty happy with the magnums at the moment, if I'm honest, so I'm just going to keep them and not worry too much about shotguns. And we've got another medikit in here, too. We've got so many medikits. Got a couple of spare spots. It's funny how, like, having no this item is almost an item. Why did you fly off in the first place, you <laughs> I hate Brad more than Barry. Like, and whatever, if Barry wasn't meant to be the bad guy, he still left me to die in a fucking pit. <laughs> still a dick. What was the point of that? I might as well have just been in there. That was the worst puzzle in the whole game. actually heaps like like an original doom doors or something it 
we don't give a crap about warnings no more. But, and by the way, that's a pretty vague message. Just like, warning of what? Ooh, briefcase. Signal rockets. Can I do something with that? Too easy. Is Brad coming to pick us up? That that stare. Maybe I should have checked the prison door with Chris in it. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Wow, is that it? Okay. Fuck it, I guess we're going off now. <laughs> we're, we're almost as bad as Brad. Just everybody in this game is an asshole. <laughs> Except for Chris. Maybe <laughs> stuck in a prison cell. That's what you get for not being an asshole, I guess. <laughs> well, clearly we got the best possible ending. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, warm feelings all around. We nailed it, every aspect of it, and uh, <laughs> clearly we are the ultimate zombie hunters. I will, uh, I'll see you in whatever video I decide to make next. Uh, okay, well thanks, thanks again. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you later. <laughs>